Good morning, everyone. So today's chaffle is going to be a peanut butter macadamia nut with a beautiful French vanilla whip topping and a little drizzling of maple syrup. It's going to be amazing. So let's get started. One egg, one tablespoon of almond flour, one tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener, a splash of vanilla, teaspoon of baking powder, just a dash of cinnamon. I am using pure ground peanuts for my peanut butter. This is from Winco, my grocery store. It is so good. It, there's nothing in it but peanuts, which that's why I love it because a lot of the, even the natural, even organic peanut butter, you'll look in the ingredients and you'll be like, are you kidding me? They put soy in there. Sometimes they put things we can't really have on keto. So definitely check your grocery stores in the bulk section and see if they have peanuts to ground into peanut butter. It's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna do two tablespoons, or about, it doesn't have to be exact. I'll tell you what, these make the best peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for your kids. If you want them to have healthy peanut butter, this is the way to go. One tablespoon of heavy cream, and a half a teaspoon of coconut oil. All right. That should be all of our ingredients. I like my chaffle recipes to be everything goes in and you mix it up. I definitely like easy and fast. So most of these ingredients you probably already have in your keto kitchen, so it should be fairly easy to make. So let's mix this up and get chaffle in. All right? I like to use about a quarter scoop uh, for my chaffle mix and we're gonna get our chaffle mini dash heated up. I like to put a paper plate under mine because you are gonna see grease start to drip off of your chaffle especially when you make cheese chaffles and I, it just helps catch it that way the grease doesn't drip on your counters and then you can just throw the plate away and get a clean one so that's what I do. If you're looking to buy any of these ingredients, even the Dash Mini Griddle Maker, I will list all the links down below so you can start chaffling right away. Okay, the first chaffle is going in. Now while that's getting there, I'm gonna show you the next ingredient. I like to always make one with, one without. I think, you know, my daughter doesn't really care for um, the nuts cooked in it, so I'm making her one without. But I'm gonna add in a little handful of chopped macadamia nuts. So let's get those chopped and I'll be right back. About that many is fine. You can add as many as you like. All right, to the rest of our batter, we're gonna add our chopped macadamia nuts. Beautiful. I always place my chaffles on a little rack, like a cookie. This recipe should make about four chaffles. And then we have our awesome French vanilla whipped topping ready to go on. Our little overfilled chaffle, but still came out beautiful. Look at that beautiful golden brown. Let that cool off. All right, so now we're gonna make our whipped cream topping. And I'm going to pour in a, a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. I'm going to put in a little squirt of, this is Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. I'll list all these links down below if you'd like to try them. Um, I want to use a liquid rather than crystal sweetener or even the powder. Less chance to make it gritty. So I'm going to put in a couple drops. A little goes a long way. This stuff is really, really concentrated. And then to balance out the effect, you know, sometimes you get a little bit of a bitter effect with the sweeteners. The trick to that is to balance it out with a little bit of stevia. So I'm going to put in a couple drops of, this is French vanilla stevia. All right. And we're going to put in 
just a splash of vanilla flavoring. Okay, it's gonna get loud, so I'll give you some music to listen to while we mix this up. Here we go. All right guys, so there it is whipped up. It has a really nice French vanilla flavor. Um, just a little side note, if it tastes bitter to you, then if it tastes really strongly bitter to you and you're brand new to keto, that's probably because you're still detoxing from all the sugars in your system. But if you've been on keto and it still tastes bitter to you, try using less drops. Less is always more with these sweeteners. Like people think, oh, I need the sugar, I want that sweetness, but less is always more with these. Trust me, just try one, two drops at a time, and then if you go over, it's gonna taste bitter. So just a little tip there from my own experiences. So here's my whipped cream, French vanilla whipped cream. That's gonna be my topping for my peanut butter chaffles, peanut butter macadamia nut chaffles with French vanilla whip topping. Yum! I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle just a little bit of this over the top. This is very liquidy, so be careful. <laughs> nice and easy. There we go. Just for extra flavor and to make it have that just delicious maple butter flavor, which I personally love. So there you have it. Peanut butter macadamia nut chaffles with French vanilla whip topping and just a little drizzling of maple syrup. Enjoy everyone, I hope you liked it. Please give me a big like, and please consider subscribing if you wanna see more awesome recipes, and maybe you just wanna join me on my keto weight loss journey. I would love to have you, and please ring the bell so you'll be notified of all my new videos. Thanks so much, you guys have a great keto week. Stay keto strong, and I'll see you in the next one. Maybe, and a splash of lid too, why not?